Welcome back guys. Today we will be continuing reduction formula. Today we will be moving to our fourth standard integral that we need to reduce. This is for 0 to pi by 2. This will be m greater than 1 and n also greater than 1. Both are positive integers. So now let's start it. So we will do it in the usual process. Let j of m comma n will be integration of cos m of x sin of nx dx now integrating by parts taking this as first function now integration of sin nx dx minus integration of d dx of cos m x integration of sin nx dx whole dx now this will turn out to be minus cos mx sin cos of nx dx this this is minus and cos of nx zero power n now this will be plus this will be m cos m minus one x sin of x minus will make it plus and derivation of this is this and now integration of this will be minus cos nx upon n dx so this will be minus 1 by n cos of mx cos of nx plus this will be minus m by n goes outside this will be cos m minus 1 x now this will put in one side sin x cos of nx dx now we need to simplify this so to do this we use this expression we get that cos nx and sin x we can write this as sin of nx cos of x minus sin of nx cos of x minus this will be cos nx sin of x so we will see that if we remove this it will get cancelled out and we will get this and this becomes plus so now this will be sin of nx cos of x minus sine of n minus 1 x this is the formula of psi a plus b so we only did this to simplify our expression so now we get j of m comma n this will be minus 1 by n cos of mx cos of nx minus m by n now this will be cos m minus 1 x this will be sine of nx cos of x minus now this this will be sine of n minus 1 x this will be as a whole it will be dx now just simplifying it we get this will be m minus n cos of this will be m x sine of n x this will be dx multiplying this and this will be m by n this will be cos n minus 1 x sine of n minus 1 x dx now again this will be cos of m x cos n x minus m by n this will be j of m comma n this is our original expression and this will be plus m by n j m minus 1 n n minus 1 so now earlier uh, we used to so this so now bringing this to one side and so our final equation turns out to be j of n equal to minus cos of m x cos of n x upon m plus n plus m plus this will be m plus n this will be j of m minus 1 n minus 1 so this is our integral form without limits so this is our main expression so now to find the 0 to pi by 2 we'll just put the limits on this so j of m n 0 to pi by 2 we get minus cos m x cos n x m plus n this will be 0 pi by 2 this will be m by m plus n j of m minus 1 n minus 1 0 to pi by 2 this will turn out to be i of m comma n 
this will be 1 by m plus n as we put any value for we will get this will be 1 so and this will be m by m plus n cos 0 is 0 and cos pi by 2 is z 1 cos 0 is 1 and pi by 2 is 0 so it will be 1 and this will be i of m minus 1 n minus 1 so this is our final pi integral answer so this was our sums and so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you